Hi everyone, in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a data layer in Salesforce Maps and then use it with CRM data. In the last video I showed you how cool data layers are, but I realized I never told you how to set them up. So let's do a little of that. First, you go into the system and you need to enable maps and location settings. So I go to setup, I already opened the tab over here, and you type maps over in here and it gives you maps and location settings. Now it's already on in my system, but you need to turn this on so Google is gonna be able to see where, uh, see where those records are. Once you've got this on, you can use data loaders, but there's a really cool thing that you can do in data layers I'm gonna show you as well. Go into installed packages and go find maps and go to configure. And in here, go to data layers. There's a bunch of different data that Salesforce offers out of the box. You wanna go to business data from the USA, click into that. And in here, I'm going to go pick accounts, you can pick leads or contacts or whatever you want. Tell it that you want click to create to work so that you can click on some of these and create objects. Then you need to map the fields real quick, so roll down. Okay, and from here, I kind of, I did it, but basically I gave it some, some uh, kind of very cursory information that I have from the data layer, like address and account name and that kind of stuff. And once I've got that built and saved, then essentially I am ready to uh, go in and build a data layer in Maps. Let's go do that. All right, in Layers, let's click on Saved and create a new data layer. So if we click into here, oops, sorry, click into the folder, click on Data Layer and click Data Layer, then we can load this information here. I've got one built, so let's go look at that instead. Okay, I called this layer Trucking Fleets. Um, my data source, remember that from the beginning, I picked business data from the USA. And then my filters, I've got two. The SIC uh, level four industrial code equals 4212. This is transportation fleets. And the sales has to be greater than $3 million. I don't want to go see somebody who makes $173,000 in a year. It's just not worth trying to sell them a truck. And once I do that and save and refresh, it basically loads that data onto my map along with, I think I have opportunities over here kind of put together. Yep, roll in here to kind of the Northeast and you see information uh, about the, the opportunities that I have in the system, CRM data, but if I click over into these pins, just like you saw last time, I see the actual information for uh, real businesses out there from that USA data, um, 4.6 million for M&M Produce. And once I've got this put together, again, like in that other video, I won't bore you, you go through, you build your routes, and you go see customers, and you go see people you've never met. Very slick tool. Thanks for listening. To, hey, follow us comment on this. Um, I want to keep doing this. Uh, I want stuff to be helpful for you guys. Uh, let me know how I can help. Thanks. Bye.